So you probably clicked on this YouTube video thinking, how do you go to university and regret it? but also not regret it. That doesn't really make sense. If you want the short answer, it's quite simple actually. It's picking the wrong major. Over the years I've been attending university, I have become more and more resentful to how it's made me feel and the way I view the education system in general, if that makes sense. I think university in itself can be a really great tool for advancing someone's career, but I think the biggest problem is just how the internet has changed the way we perceive information. For example, you're watching this video right now. This could easily be a lecture, which it kind of is in a weird way. In university, especially right now in 2020, you are paying $500 upwards. That's being generous for my university just to watch a glorified YouTube video. Is that really worth it? I don't need to pay a dime to learn what I want to learn on YouTube or not even just YouTube anywhere. You can pay a fraction of the cost for an online course that can teach you the same thing if not more than university classes. With that said, you don't have to attend a class to learn something. You can learn pretty much everything in university online now. It's the year 2020. The internet is so full of good information out there and misinformation, so be careful, that you can pretty much learn anything you want with just a quick Google search. It's not that hard. Anybody can do it. If you're watching this video, you obviously know how to search the internet. Therefore, you have the tools to learn anything you want without paying for it. Let's say you've had trouble learning how to program. Okay, well, it's easy. So just go on YouTube, search it up. How to code Python, I don't know what, it, what language you're into right now. Guaranteed, there will always be a kind Indian man on YouTube to teach you more than your overpriced class ever could. I know, I use these kind Indian men to learn some of the concepts I needed for computer science. They are extremely useful, don't undervalue them. So I'm gonna start this video with some quick background on myself. I'm currently 21 years old and I'm in my fourth year of computer science. I plan on graduating very soon actually in the spring of 2021, which is about six months away from the date of recording this. That's pretty scary. I'm gonna be in the real world outside of university and I have no clue what I wanna do in my life. So that's just kind of proof university isn't the key to figuring out life. If you go to university just cause, you might want to rethink that. I was someone who went to university at the tender age of 18, straight out of high school, thinking that was the most perfect idea at the time. Boy, I was, I was so wrong about that. Is this recording? Oh shoot. Because let's be honest, being fresh out of high school, being 18, you're still dumb and taking on a huge loan and picking a potential career that could judge the rest of your entire life that is the most irresponsible thing I think anybody can do in their entire life. And people do a lot of dumb sh in their life. And I think the most notable thing about my choice was the reason I went to university. And trust me, it was for a very bad reason. Do not follow my footsteps. I am not the smartest. That's probably, that should probably be a disclaimer. I am a dumb kid on the internet. Don't listen to me. Maybe, sometimes, maybe you could listen to me. We'll see. So basically, I went to university for computer science when I was 18 because I was told it was gonna make the most amount of money. Do you know how dumb that is? Looking back, that was probably the most common mistake every university student makes, especially people in uh, respectable degrees like computer science or engineering. It's just a bad idea. If you don't have any passion for those topics, don't go to university. Just don't do it, it's not worth it. But it's not like I completely hate computer science. I do have some interest in it because if I did, I probably would have dropped out in my first semester, first year. It was a tough semester. Oh man, my grades were bad. They're much better now, but I probably could have done so much better if I actually cared about what I was gonna do and knew what I was gonna do rather than just going in blindly. The first thing I regret is not going out as often as I should have. Being too busy is the most common line you could hear out of a student, and the problem is we look to the excuse as a sort of comfort excuse. At least for me personally, I've used the too busy excuse way too often and I've missed out on some pretty cool events. Don't let school be an excuse to do something you've never done before. I've learned this the hard way and unfortunately I learned this after the pandemic started. There are so many things I wish I could have done, but now I have to wait at least another year thanks to COVID. My next regret is not doing my research before going to university. For me, I was concerned about making six figures before the age of 30, but man, my mindset has changed. For the major you're interested in, you have to see what it takes and what it entails because you're committing for a minimum of four years in a degree. That's a long time. You don't want to get trapped in a degree that sucks the life out of you. It's not fun. My third regret is not taking a year off after high school to think about my options. To me, I think deciding something as big as taking on a huge student loan to go to a school and get a degree that could possibly dictate your future career all at the age of 18 is the most irresponsible and overwhelming thing an 18 year old could do. Most people at the age of 18 nowadays barely know anything, no offense to anyone that's 18, and I know this because I'm 21 and I still don't know anything. If I throw it back to when I was 18, not gonna lie, my brain was pretty empty, but it was because of that empty brain I made the choices I made then. 
And my final regret, which is probably the biggest one, is not paying attention to my hobbies and my passions. I could have started my YouTube channel much earlier, but I always made excuses like being too busy or whatever millions of excuses I could conjure up at the time. It's a big regret for sure, but I don't think it's too late to spend time on hobbies. I'm in my fourth year, but I still chose to slow down and start this channel. Now I want to talk about the reasons why I stayed in university and I'm glad I didn't drop out. I will have at least graduated with a very respectable degree. Unless this YouTube channel of less than 200 subscribers could make me a full-time income, there's no chance it could support me after I graduate. At least with my degree, finding a job becomes easier and I can make a living with a decent job while still making videos on the side. Though it's not an ideal situation, it's also temporary which is something to consider. To me, it's a short-term pain for long-term gain and I'm okay with that. Another reason is the friends I've made along the way. My girlfriend reminds me of this a lot, but for good reason. I've made some of my closest friends through university and of course, I met my girlfriend there too. If I never went, I would have most likely never met these people who have changed my life in many positive ways. Having some good friends to struggle with makes all the difference in education, and I value that a lot. The third reason is it teaches you skills that are necessary for life. You will have to deal with a lot of different people and do a lot of group work depending on your field of study, and these people won't always agree with you. This helps you to learn how to interact with people from all sorts of backgrounds and gives you interpersonal skills that are a must in pretty much any job you decide to pursue in the future. Being able to communicate to others and get along with them is a must in today's world, and is definitely an invaluable skill. Another reason is I now have greater time management skills and self-discipline. University is tough, and with that, it builds a tougher version of you. It is impossible to get far if you can't manage your time and discipline yourself. The professors aren't going to hold your hand throughout the course, and they'd expect you to know what you're doing, even if you're clueless. With proper time management and self-discipline, many of these harder courses are 100% doable. The final reason I stay in university is that you learn a lot of random things that can be very interesting or even useful to you. I never thought I would learn how to program my own website from scratch using HTML and CSS, or even train an AI to detect coronary heart disease. But even through the struggles, you pick up some pretty interesting skills that could be useful down the road or learn some things that might make you a more well-rounded person. Having plenty of skills is key to making yourself irreplaceable and that is what will make you a more valuable person. So to conclude this video, if you're in university and are currently regretting it, just remember the positives that have come out of it. What about all the good friends you made or the good grades you might have gotten even? There's a lot of things, a lot of reasons to stay in university and remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and I know because I'm almost there. There are a lot of things you've learned that you probably would have never learned anywhere else, and there's some positives that you just shouldn't overlook. That's what's kind of kept me going. Also, it's never too late to reevaluate your life. Now, that's not supposed to be taken in a negative way, but there's one thing to remember, and that no one in life ever has it figured out. It doesn't matter how successful someone might appear, they're probably struggling behind the scenes just as hard as you or even worse than you. I just spent the good part of this video talking about how I have nothing figured out and that I'm still figuring out myself. I don't know what I'm doing in life besides making these videos. That's the one thing that's probably giving me direction in life. But as long as you recognize that everyone around you has no clue what they're doing, then that should be enough to let you know that you're not alone, everyone's struggling, you're doing just fine. Just remember that changing your path to lead to overall greater happiness will mean so much more. Even if you have to spend a little more money and a couple more years in university, that extra pain is 100% worth it and you should not overlook that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video could help someone out. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this because it really, really helps me out. It really helps push this video out to more people who are also struggling with university. So with that said guys, take care. Peace.